in lesson five, we're going to continue learning about entering text in Microsoft Word. We're going to learn how to use the tab key to indent your paragraphs. Learn about the wrong word form check and the grammar check, the backspace versus delete keys, and the end key shortcut. Continuing on with our business letter, I'm going to press the tab key to indent the next paragraph. The tab key is a key on your keyboard over on the left hand side. And whether or not you use the tab key to indent your paragraphs is really a matter of style. It's a personal preference. Sometimes people like to put an extra enter there and just leave extra spacing between their paragraphs. Me personally, I'm going to go with tabbing to indent my paragraphs for this business letter. I'll continue typing. I would like to meet with you. Oh, look what happened. The word to is spelled correctly, but it's the wrong kind of to. I should have just T-O there. If I take my mouse and right click on the word to, you can see the correct to is right here. Again, I'll click at the end of the line to bring the cursor back out here. And I'll continue typing to discuss any questions you might have, period. My partner and I am available to answer your questions any time, day, or night, period, enter. And look at that. We have another squiggly line. It's over here this time. See the green squiggly line? That means Word thinks that's grammatically incorrect, and it is. My partner and I am available. That should be my partner and I are available. Let's right click on am, and there it is. There's the word are. So I'll click are, and now it's fixed. My partner and I are available to answer your questions. Let's go back to the end of this paragraph. And I'm looking over this and thinking to myself, anytime, day or night, well, that's being pretty generous. I wouldn't want the customer calling me at 3 a.m. So let's use the backspace key on the keyboard. Backspace. And backspace over that text. And let's type in Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m period. And now I'm thinking to myself, well, I use the word through, T-H-R-U, which Word doesn't seem to have a problem with, but it is a little informal. So let's change T-H-R-U to T-H-R-O-U-G-H, which is the proper spelling for through. Now rather than backspace over all of this text, I'm going to click right here between the letters R and U. Now if I press the backspace key, the backspace eats the characters to the left of the cursor. So if I press the backspace key, back, 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 notice that eats the THR. That's not what I want here. So let's put those back, THR. What I want is the delete key. The delete key, which is also on your keyboard, eats the characters to the right of the cursor. So I'm going to press the delete key to get rid of that U, and then type in the rest of the characters, T-H-R-O-U-G-H. So that's the backspace versus the delete key. Remember, the backspace eats left, the delete key eats the characters to the right. All right, let's go back to the end of the paragraph. Now, instead of just taking the mouse and clicking out here, which we could do, that's perfectly fine, what I'm going to do is use a keyboard shortcut. Now, there are a million keyboard shortcuts in Microsoft Word. I'm only going to cover a couple of them today. Look on your keyboard and find the end key, E-N-D, the end key. Press the end key, and that will bring you to the end of the line. That's the end key. 